The trial of Chad Daybell continues today in Boise. Testimony centered around text messages, phone calls, and emails sent between Chad Daybell, Lori Vallow, and the people surrounding them. Linda Larson is live at the Ada County Courthouse now. Linda, what did we hear in court today? Todd, it was a very interesting and sometimes bizarre day in court today as we heard about some of the fringe religious beliefs of the so-called doomsday couple. The prosecution calling detective Nathan Duncan. Now he's from the Chandler Police Department in Arizona to the stand. He was one of the officers that was on the scene the day that Charles Vallow, Lori's former husband, was killed by her brother. After his death, police uncovered lots of messages on his devices. Detective Duncan read those messages to the court, starting with a text from Charles to Lori. You accuse me of infidelity, but it's you who have been having an affair. It just keeps killing me. Maybe that's your goal. How can you live with, destroy, with yourself destroying our life, Mel and Brandon's? Probably Mel and, and Brendan too. Now add Chad Daybell family and you've got a home run. The fact that you continue to go to the temple after all you've done shocks even more, Shock, or shocks even me. There really is something wrong with you. Less than two weeks before Charles was killed, he threatened to tell Chad's wife, Tammy, about Chad and Lori's affair. Tammy, my name is Charles Vallow. I have some vital and disturbing information regarding your husband and my wife, Lori. This is your work email, so I'll wait to send you the evidence that is very disturbing. You may call or email me from the address where you can receive the information. I apologize to be the one sending this, but something has to be done. Detective Duncan said he did not know if Tammy ever saw those messages. At this same time, Chad, Lori, Alex, and Alex's wife, Zulema, were talking about four different evil spirits that were possessing Charles Vallow and how they were going to cast them out. His name is Hiplos. The H is silent. The other three are level threes. Let's do this. And the following message from Lori to Zalema, June 2nd, 2019, 11.54 a.m. Yes, it does. Let's put some fire energy towards Hiplos now. He is driving now, and today is the day. I and I can do it spiritually. Let's go to him and hover over the truck till we do it. Are you ready? Zulema sends Lori a message that states, also I was given instructions today to rip, tear, or burn the aura of Hiplos to let the body energy out so he can't re-enter. There's a message from Chad Daybell to Zulema on July 2nd, 2019 at 8.35 p.m. I am very happy to find out these estates. You and Lolo have doing amazing work. Mother Earth is so grateful to you both. Thank you as well for your help with Hiplos. He is so very close. During their correspondence after Charles was killed, Lori thought she was the beneficiary in a million dollar life insurance policy. I just got the letter from the insurance company saying that I am not the beneficiary. It's a spear through my heart. Who do you think he changed it to? Brandon or probably Kay? He left nothing for JJ. Chad responded to Lori, wow, that's terrible. There's no way to find out. In a text just a few days later, Chad said this. Chad sent a message to Lori. Hmm. It will be interest if, interesting if it got changed after he had two bullets in his chest. Now, Todd, you might find it interesting to know that, of course, he was not charged in the death of Charles Vallow. And in fact, his attorney, John Pryor, asked about that in the record, apparently from the Arizona County Courthouse. Duncan said that a prosecutor in the case in Maricopa County in Arizona decided not to charge Chad because she felt that there was no reasonable likelihood of conviction. Also interesting is the fact that since it is a murder, there is no statute of limitations. So at some point in time in the future, he still could be charged. Reporting live from the Ada County Courthouse, I'm Linda Larson for Local News 8. Okay, Linda, thank you for that update. Of course, we are streaming the trial live on localnews8.com each day. You can also find all of our past reporting on our website, or you can take our mobile app with you.